Okay, so they appear to have elected to do all of the episodes on day one, which I never consider to be a good sign for most of these animated series. Full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Batman Cape Crusader Episode 3, Kiss of the Catwoman, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. Like, you want that week-to-week -week discussion. You don't want it to all be over within three, four days. I'm looking forward to seeing what this, this show does with Catwoman. I haven't been this in love with general set design in a 2D show in a while. Maybe it's just because it evokes that nostalgia, but it is just very well done. Oh, wow. Close enough. I'm curious, how do most people feel about Catwoman becoming legitimately a love interest in the comics? I always, I kind of liked how it ended in uh, the new Batman Adventures more, where he finally just completely lets go of it. I am. Right? Or let's go of his uh, <laughs> affections for her because she never really could learn fully reform. I'm not opposed the other way, but I also don't really like Catwoman just becoming a hero either, which kind of puts her at odds with a uh, long-term relationship working with Batman if they were to go with what I wanted. <laughs> Damn. I don't think that was legible. <laughs> Batman not thinking about his parents much anymore. I like this angle for a first introduction of Harley Quinn. I'm down for it.
kind of wondering if they do Harley Quinn without the Joker, which could be interesting. They must never discover my immortality cream. <laughs> I like it. Establishing early, Harley Quinn is pretty damn observant and intelligent. I feel like putting one over on Batman might be, as far as sleight of hand goes, might be a, st a stretch too far, but it's still cool. <laughs> Daddy paid me. All right. I kind of nice. Kind of going classic, classic with this look too. <laughs> All right. So, are they gonna find some way to justify uh, her considerable combat skills, or are we just gonna accept it? There were just shitty shots there. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. I'm still partial to the Batman the Animated Series look over the full leather or uh well this but this is this is nice for different i think they use the same design in batman the brave and the bold nice <laughs> the way she said that Oh. All right. So we're doing this a little bit different. I don't mind that, but I'm hoping it's still fun. She's, actually, this is kind of reminding me of when Captain Cold was introduced in the Flash. He was he wasn't yet a supervillain, <laughs> and <laughs> Flash just runs around, takes out all his guys, and then leaves. And he's like, "We gotta up our game." That's kind of where I'm at with this. I'm hoping that's what this turns out as. <laughs> Repressed is not what I'd say.
Accessory? That's definitely wrong, right? Um, I, I would say... How does she go insane? I generally like the idea of Harley Quinn being a good therapist. Infallible therapists tend to get on my nerves in most movies and TV shows. They're always right on their first guess. They never have... <laughs> they look at somebody, they've got them figured out instantly. Wow. That's right. It wasn't blown, it was dismissed. That of it was out of his hands. The, the, the little uh Superman pants there don't suit you. Oh, God. So, are you a little bit more ready for Batman this time? Don't steal a cat. No! It seemed like a happy kitty. You ready this time? Come on, put up a better fight. How many second dates do you have? Well, eh, learning to... Supervillain in high heels can be tough. Tufts. He's got the cat car! It's the Catmobile! Ah, uh, the claws kind of ruin it.
Yeah, but like, it's kind of difficult to spend money with no identity for yourself. Where? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Why are you still here? I love that she didn't even try and put on a different outfit, at least. Absolutely. Yeah, those make him uncomfortable. That it's a good thing you weren't listening to something other else of that day. Sure. No. <laughs> Uh, probably not. Oh, I would love if this rejection from so uh, from something that truly interested her is what got her to go to Arkham Asylum. Or Alfred. You know, seeing that this might be the, the most miserable Batman in just in terms of general personality, he might actually be the Batman in, in animation, at least, who needs a Robin the most. Someone to pull him out of that gutter. Oh, oh, okay. Well, okay, but I didn't expect you to become an accountant after all this, Bruce. <laughs> oh? Uh, you, 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 why? Ah, 
<laughs> I mean, it wasn't a question of certainty that she did it. Evidence wouldn't change if a judge wanted to dismiss charges or not. It just make it look even shittier to the public. Nice. Batman wanting to be on cameras. Okay. Okay. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just gonna leave for a second there. Woo. Ah, okay, nice. And were you holding your breath? Ooh. Oh, no. All right, Harvey, get better, please. I mean, yes, so tight. <laughs> I know it's realistic that someone like Catwoman who's had no formal training should absolutely be, get, get shot if she's just running away from people with guns and shit like that, but it's a little lame. Three years? Hell yeah, Greta, go! Yeah, it's a little lame for Selena to be like this. So, so are you. Oh. Is she already out? I don't think that's a gunshot, I think. Oh, no, this is the past. Okay. Yeah, I don't like... Yes, it's realistic that Catwoman's just kind of easily caught in some circumstances, but it's lame. It's just lame. I don't mind the take that, that Batman is so closed up that he's not initially open to that kind of uh, you know, feelings breaking into him. That part I don't mind. But the, the way they did Catwoman here kind of sucked. Not in a storytelling sense, but as far as justice to the character. I liked Harley Quinn.
Dr. Harleen Quinzel, I'm sorry. Next time.